results and don't just keep it. I'm really nice. Oh, look at the shirt. No, don't talk about it. You can get his nice shirt. Look. Tune blast it. <laughs> also, it hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> I was only joking, you know. I mean, the king really isn't that short. I mean, look at this. Respectable height. It's, it's, it's the 1300s. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Also, if you see a beautiful maiden like that walking down a corridor, looking cute. If a little anemic, what are you supposed to do? Not serenade her? I mean, single guys like me. Shut up. Well, I'm gonna die in a few minutes, so I'm gonna talk. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm good at. Well, that and bed and busty maidens. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I just wanted love. And that's the most human thing of all. If you just give me the opportunity to apologize. Actually, yeah, in all fairness, you did give me the opportunity. Oh, come on, a courtroom's a free audience. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have sung that particular number. Nothing's got tiny feet, you know, but come on, it's hard to resist your nature. I've always been the funny one. I mean, Mum was this tough, Hard as nails, slum lord. Whatever a slum is. You know, Dad was a big reader. He read a lot. He had a lot of books in his book collection. Biggest collection in the whole village. Three books. <laughs> but the plague got them both. Yeah. My brother Christoph, plague. My sister Susanna, plague too. She was a sister, like, in the sisterhood. And she passed the plague on to all the other nuns. <laughs> plague everywhere. But I never got it, you know. I got lucky. Because I was busy singing songs for the king. But how does a guy like me become jester for the king? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, back to the plague. A wart here. Uh, fart there, but I stopped joking about it once it really started killing people. I mean, at first it was like, Ooh, Darren's got the plague, did you hear? All his skin fell off, it's a nightmare! And someone else would be like, well, it could be leprosy if all your skin's fallen off. It could be leprosy, but no, it's always the plague. Leprosy isn't something we really talk about. I mean, it's weird. People's arms will just, like, fall off. So. It's a lot funnier than it should be. I mean, like, Darren's walking to work. Next thing you know, he's crawling because his leg fell off. <laughs> God, it's a lot funnier to watch than it is to talk about. <laughs> no, you never realise how fundamentally bad society is until you sing about it. Well, I'll tell you what's good, though, for the markets. You know, you can get whatever you want. Meat. Fish. <laughs> But a few doubloons and magic tricks only get you so far. I'd do a trick for you now, but he took all my tools away from me. Plus, you know, you're all dead. This will be me soon, won't it? Yes, then survive. But it's fine. Alas, poor Yorick! <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> I hate to falter into realms of existentialism, but fuck it. Such is the life of a poor, singing idiot like me. Look, I didn't come from money, alright? Nobody saved a bag of gold under the potato sack, which is my bed. And potatoes are not comfortable, they're not supportive on your back. I mean, some of the loons in the village, right? They'll sleep on a bed of nails. And frankly, that sounds a lot more comfortable than the potatoes my dad eventually skins and feeds us when the cows catch the madness. <laughs> ah, the madness! 
It is truly glorious when the cows catch the madness. Then we cut their throats and we turn them into meat. They were always meat. We are all just meat waiting for, for our throats to be cut open. We are all just sacks of potatoes. Who will sleep on our corpses? Will future generations know that we think of them? Am I going mad and talking to myself surrounded by corpses and rats in cells? Am I the potato? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's funnier than you! <laughs> You talking to me? Wow, I'm actually going crazy. No, Jess. You are but a small part of a greater, darker truth. All of this, all of us, all at once will be forgotten in a gust of wind. A breath, a delicate finger fall on a mountain of dust. Shut up! You sound just like the king, so pretentious. Pretentious? <laughs> Big word for an idiot. <laughs> the king's the real idiot. I can say it now. I don't work for him anymore. Frankly, I didn't see it ended any other way. I mean, even when he hired me, he was all like, You foolish boy. You think you can make me laugh? What's the difference between the plague and the monarchy? I'm not sure. The plague kills you slowly. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> terrible. It's <laughs> barely even a joke. Maybe I'm the joke. Is that it? What? Is that it? In truth be told, my mother's my biggest support. She's dead now, but the smell keeps me going. <laughs> That's vivid. You have a dark mind, Jester. Yeah, well, it's the fucking 1300s. Who doesn't? Boy. <laughs> Can you sing? Let me tell you a tale of a man so bold And he walked through town in pants made of gold But the gold pants were too heavy and he sank in a lake <laughs> <laughs> So what is the lesson and what is the key? Don't swim in gold pants or a corpse you No would have sufficed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you one chance, but one mistake, one mistake and ha ha ha, I'll have your head. Hmm? Don't test me, do not test me, seriously, do not test me, don't. <laughs> Okay, Your Majesty. I won't let you down! Quiet now. Go and prepare. I require a performance a day for me and twice for my daughter. The busty girl with the chalice? Watch it. Sorry. Seriously leaving now. Oh my goodness gracious, this is the best. I might finally make it and see the sweet age of 17. <laughs> no one else in my family has ever lived that long. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, golly wonder upon me, joyous wonder, all up in me like a great rapturous orgasm. <laughs> you do realize, fool, I can still hear you. I'm seriously leaving now. The thing with most fools is, as long as you word it like a joke, you can get away with anything. <coughs> Even if it is to the rats and the corpses that surround me, no offence.
Princess Delilah was the best kind of distraction. I mean, to be honest, the problem wasn't so much hiding the affair. The problem was having, like, hide, having the affair, you know. <laughs> Engaged woman, am I right? She was meant to marry this guy with a really weird chin. <laughs> wasn't a good look. I mean, she always fancied herself with a nobleman, but most noblemen were off in the village giving each other a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask him to have the knickers pulled down. You know, they've got the servants for that. <laughs> she was, she did have the affection of a really prissy knight. Um, he was a good guy, truly. Very into his monotheism. I think he read scripture to his kids before bed, stuff like that. But he was shagging his cow. <laughs> I think he caught the madness off the cow, you know, upon insemination. Um, it didn't affect him that badly at first, but then on the battlefield, instead of yelling, CHARGE! He just went, MOO! <laughs> Everyone died. <laughs> Disaster. Anyway, once the princess found out he was Shagging his cow. <laughs> yeah. Turned to me to humour her. And I get it, you know, there's not much humour out there these days. I mean, the other day, a guy was beheading someone for stealing his sandal with another sandal. <laughs> Proper hack job. <laughs> Took him hours. <laughs> the world isn't ready for this love story. Not yet. <laughs> It's not much of a love story anyway, is it really? I mean, the princess will forget me. Everyone will forget me. I'll just, I'll be nothing. Dust, forgotten, forever. Aww. Sorry, that's not really funny, is it? That's not funny. <laughs> I, I never thought I'd amount to much. <coughs> Aside from growing old in my youth. No. I mean, all I ever wanted was, was to make people laugh. And I, I achieved something close to that. I, I did. I really did. I, I did. Most of my humor came from how bad I look in these pants. <laughs> and here I am. I'm a fairly tall one, especially for the time period. Most men my height are thought to be witches. <laughs> but the king saw something in me. He smiled, even if it was mostly pity. <laughs> I remember when I saw his big, fat, stupid fucking face for the first time. <laughs> Remarkably terrifying. He makes a walk to his house ridiculously long on purpose to mess with lay people. It's such a slap in the face to the real workers of society, seeing all the richness and the pomp and glamour as you approach your doom. The walk told me two things. One, I was about to enter the most elaborate hall of rich men in all of England. And two, these men don't look nearly as fit outside of an oil painting. <laughs> Most of the paintings are ghastly, for some of them. I mean, the king, right, has a big fat head, a great big belly, and a great big bushy beard. He walks around like this, hello, I'm the king, how you doing? Oh, oh. But in the painting, he's a stud. I'll have some of that. Not the painting, not the king, I wouldn't. <laughs> I did try to reason with the king for like 30 seconds while he took me away. I said to him, listen mate, your daughter wasn't that good in bed anyway, so it's all fine. That didn't work. That didn't help and now I'm going to die in a few minutes. But I remember you. You were at the tavern where this all started. Back when I was one of you. Making barely enough money to earn myself pockets. <laughs> now, here I am, 
in the royal chambers, and I still don't have fucking pockets! <laughs> Why not tell us a joke, Chester? We've been waiting for an hour. You're not even really here. None of you are really here. Isn't that just hilarious? Silence, mortal. I'm just like you. You and I are just the same. Go on, lad. Can't bring himself to properly insult me. All he can do is swear and make rude and slanderous comments. There is nothing as easy, as less funny, as an easy joke. I wouldn't be so confident, Your Highness. Your daughter and I are lovers! <laughs> you would never go for the likes of you. Well, that's interesting. She seemed to like me last night. <laughs> I do not care for this line of humour, fool. Yeah, I had relations with the princess. But so what? Since when did status become such a fundamentally important part of society? I mean, we're all the same. We're all servants of the system. No matter how much you whip us and chain us and make us dance for you, you pompous, stupid, irreligious skunk man. Okay, enough. No, seriously, Dad. <laughs> I mean, your majesty. <laughs> I didn't even love the princess, right? But it didn't even matter. She easily gave in to me. Because I'm sly and I'm cocky. I'm not some dull predator in a row. So, your majesty, congratulations. You're so much better than me. High esteem, high royalty, giant phallic throne. But you're just as much a slut as me. <laughs> Is any other mere peasant out there? Are you done? No, I'm not done, you filthy bastard. <laughs> no one taught to prefer the taste of poverty over something rich and fancy. Though, to be fair, I went with the ugliest of your daughters. <laughs> oh. You're done. <laughs> Did you really think you got away with that? Never expect to get away with anything. Otherwise, <laughs> why be a fool? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to talk to you. Like, I really, really don't want to talk to you. But I am now, and I'm going to give you a piece of advice. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. No, it's just your breath fucking reeks. <laughs> that's rude. Mentos haven't been invented yet. Oh, you can't keep spinning yarns, Jester. I never learned how to spin yarns. That's more a womanly trade. Oh, 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 o
stay. But she left me. And then the cows took over the world. The cows took over the world. They passed the madness onto all the humans, and the cows took over the world.